champion of Classmates Belby season eight. The rules of round two are such that I will ask each of you to spell four words, each worth 10 points. In the event of a tie, we will have a sudden death tie-breaking round on the buzzer. Good luck to all of you. We'll begin round two. Let's welcome to the podium, Anushka from Kohati. Anushka, the competition is stiff. It is, I did notice. You're all neck and neck, 30 points apiece. I do have to tell you though that you have used your Classmate Connect option, so they are no longer available to you. Your first word for 10 points is Setsi or Tetsi. Could I have the meaning please? An African blood-sucking fly which transmits sleeping sickness. Um, the language of origin? It is of Bantu origin. Setsi. That is correct. T S E T S E. Setsi. Absolutely spot on. Very well done. Your second word for 10 points is interregnum. Interregnum. Yes. Could I have the meaning, please? A period when normal government is suspended, especially between successive reigns or regimes. Language of origin. It's Latin. of Latin origin. Uh, I, N, T, E, R, R, E, G, N, U, M. Interregnum. Absolutely correct. You're doing very well, halfway through round two. Thank you. Two words remain. Your third word is QP. Could I have the meaning, please? A type of doll characterized by a large head, big eyes, chubby cheeks, and a curl or top knot on top of its head. Uh, language of origin? Americanism from Latin. C U P E E Q P. I'm afraid that's incorrect. Do any of you know the accurate spelling? I think it is K-E-W-P-I-E. That's the spelling we were looking for, K-E-W-P-I-E. No matter, we have another word for you in round two. It could take your total to 60 points. That word is Aniric. Aniric. That is correct. Could I have the meaning, please? Relating to dreams or dreaming. Could I have a uh, usage? Sometimes a film moves me so much that I sit there in an aniric state for hours afterwards. Aniric. That is correct. E N E I R I C. Aniric. Off by just one letter. It begins with an O. O N E I R I C is the okay. accurate spelling. It is tricky. At the end of round two, you have a solid score of 50 points. Well played. Okay. It's time for a short break, but before that, here's a literary cliffhanger. Every year, the OED announces its word of the year. This word usually best reflects the ethos, mood and preoccupations of that year. However, in 2015, the OED shocked everybody with its choice of word. What was 2015's astonishing word of the year? Find out on the other side of this break. You're watching Classmates Belby Season 8, powered by The Times of India. <laughs>